type. If you want to watch the legal fireworks, the biggest show in town will be in the city skies on New Year's Eve. Lexi Hamilton-Smith joins me now. Lexi, we're in for a few surprises. We certainly are, Max. The organisers are saying they've got these incredible new ones called aerial shells. You know, the ones that rise higher than the city buildings and we go ooh and ah about. They didn't want to give too much away. And there's also ones they're calling aquatic fireworks that actually get plunged into the Brisbane River before they explode into the sky. So I can't wait for those. Of course, 100,000 people will cram into South Bank on Monday night for what is certainly going to be a spectacular display. Hard at work, three days out, the pyrotechnic team is ready to thrill. We've got over five tonnes of fireworks to release, over 10,000 pyrotechnic effects, three laser light installations. is going to be the biggest and best yet. And adrenaline pumping explosion to welcome in the new year. It's like having candles on your birthday cake. New Year's Eve isn't complete without fireworks. Restaurants in the top end of town are fine-tuning their feasts. They could choose from uh, roast bar Monday with prawn, saffron and fennel or they could have a roast duck breast. And this has got to be the best view, Ridge's rooftop room. It'll be full of party goers living it up at $200 a head. We've also got a cocktail party on in our Bacchus restaurant down on the podium level for $500. Um, we sold that out this morning. And plenty, of course, will be saying goodbye to 2012 at home. They're stocking up early. Can't, Can't mix. Mix. They've run out of Stella, so we'll have to deal with this. Dan Murphy says sparkling and French champagne is walking out the door. We've had a lot of uh, interest on all the uh, Verves, Moets, obviously the big names. Cider, the new trendy buy. Two years ago there were six ciders in our range, now we've got over 60. Best advice is to buy up now to avoid the last minute crush. Traffic wise there'll be plenty of road closures. From 6.30pm Monday the city's main bridges, North Quay, Adelaide and Williams Streets, Queens Wharf Road and Brunswick Street. At South Bank, Little Stanley Street shut for from midnight Sunday and from 6.30 p.m. Monday, most main streets around the party zone and West End. Now, if you've got little ears, you don't need to worry because there'll actually be two fireworks displays, one at 8.30, uh, early enough to get them back into bed, and the big, big bang, of course, at midnight. Now, we're told the best vantage points are the cultural forecourt, the promenade, and Streets Beach. And just a warning that unless you're in a restaurant, you can't drink. It's a no-alcohol zone at South Bank, and police are telling us they will be out in force.